Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, I want to talk to you about Cloud Operations Workspace. This is the place where you're going to manage your cloud discovery. I'm excited to show you this. I haven't shown this before on the channel. It got some updates in Tokyo, specifically compatibility with dark mode. You know, Justin loves his dark mode. And then some drill down, trending reports, stuff like that. Even configuring and monitoring your cloud discovery. Let's quit talking about it. Let's go take a look. This is the cloud operations workspace. You get here through the cloud or through the workspace menu. This one's a hot mess because it's got everything installed on it or almost everything installed on it. And they're in no particular order whatsoever. I'm yet to figure out how to put those in some kind of order that I can make logic of or make sense of. So that's cloud operations workspace as a link. So look for it somewhere in your workspace or just filter. Um, come in here and type cloud and just find the cloud operations workspace. Probably simpler. Um, let's get rid of the easy stuff first. Dark mode compatibility. So if I change my preferences, go to my theme, click on dark mode my cloud operations workspace will switch to dark mode. So there it is, there's what dark mode looks like. Doesn't demo well, but when you're working on discovery for hours on end, or looking at reports and stuff, this might be easier on your eyes. That's a good thing, easier on your eyes. I'll just look it up to see if I can see my shirt, and I can, it didn't blend into the black too much there. But let's get out of dark mode, back into normal mode, and uh, we'll go through the rest of this workspace so you can see it. Now what's going on here on this landing page for the workspace, I've got some basic graphs and charts, total configuration items under management in the cloud, events by provider, we got that broken down by Amazon Web Services, Azure Activity Log, and Google Stack Driver, the number of discovery errors just above my head there, and then I've got three main components, this is the real meat of the workspaces, cloud discovery, where I can actually do some configuration, cloud resources, where I can go look at what's out there, what did we find, what's it doing, where's it at, and then settings. I have, you guys, no idea what this does um, other than lets me click a box. I'll show you there at the end. I didn't have time to fool with it. I wanted to get this out so you could see it. Let's check out Cloud Discovery. This hops open to or pops open to Cloud Discovery Home, and let's run through the charts here real quick. Number of runs in a pie chart. I've got upcoming schedules for my discovery. I've got the total configuration items that we just saw on the home page. The number of errors, which we also just saw on the home page, credentials, mid servers, service accounts, and clouds, VMs by data center. Now, I want to point something out to you. Watch this credentials matches up with credentials, mid servers matches up with mid servers, service accounts matches up with service accounts. Do you see what's going on here? These things lead to other things, and so they're all drillable. You can click on them and go to look at the credentials, and it'll pull up all the credentials. And see what it did? It hopped me into that sub menu there away from the dashboard where we were into the credentials where I can go in and manage those and now this is just like you know normal stuff here if I wanted to go in and look at my demo AWS credential I can open that credential take a look at it see what's going on and start perusing the different things um, or looking at the different details maybe I want you to modify the credentials or update the API key or access ID key and you can tell that's a demo <laughs> we don't do AAA for our AWS key ID but anyways, back to the dashboard, same thing for the rest of these. Um, the mid servers, you can see I got four up, I can see all, I got service accounts broken down by provider. And then if I wanted to jump into these on the left hand side, there's my schedules for Crucible AWS and Azure and Google Cloud. There's some uh, vCenter stuff, some billing stuff for AWS, Azure and Google. Um, so there's some billing components. I can drill down by the different providers if I want to look at those schedules. And if I click on one of these, uh, I'm not sure. I could I could actually say run discovery now. I'm not going to because this is a demo environment and uh, it's not going to do anything. This apparently says it's running. Um, so, oh, that's cool. So I got a dashboard for one that's running. We can see um, what the results were for it. It's been running for 16 hours. Um, it's time that's taken for recent discovery runs. They all seem to run about a little bit over 22 hours. There's probably a kill switch at 24 hours. And um, not any data here, but we can really see newly discovered absent uh, CIs that are in there. I can use my menu up here to refresh, run it, edit the schedule, or create a new discovery schedule 
right here from within the workspace. I think that's pretty cool that we're able to do like that. So now I've got a playbook field. So I've got to choose a provider. Oh, that's now the settings make sense. So if I give this a name, we'll just call this demo for YouTube. I was connecting the dots with the settings on that homepage there where it has these like providers. I'll show you that at the end here. So I bet you I only see the ones where I've configured or set those settings to on. I'll do the AWS. I've got no mid servers to use there. So let's try Azure. Let's try Google. Let's try the IBM. Let's try one more. I won't waste your time. Okay, so I got no mid servers. I can't move forward in the playbook because it's a demo environment. That's okay. I don't really expect that to be working. Maybe one day I'll make a video of me actually doing real cloud discovery and not just subbed out demo data. But let's take a look at a couple more things here. Um, errors. So I could see any errors. Start looking at network credentials, performance, CNDB, customization, or internal errors. Um, that's helpful. I've got discovery cloud results here in the workspace, so I can see kind of what's going on there. Some diagnostics. If I wanted to look at the ECC queue, that's what relates to my mid servers. I could see the discovery logs, you know, what's going on there. That's all sorted. Um, some alert configurations, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, if I go back to this, is interesting. This happened to me before. I don't know if this is a bug, but notice I can't get back to my workspace home. Um, so I'm just going to have to go back up to workspace here and go to cloud operations workspace because I don't have a way to get back there. And then I can show you the next thing I want to show you, which was the cloud resources inventory dashboard. Okay, so this is a slice and dice and the drill down and breakdowns of everything that has been discovered. And just in case you were curious, you can see when it was last refreshed. This is a lie, or that's a lie, it, it wasn't refreshed, this is a demo, but in your environment it would be real. We can see the different configuration item classes, the different regions where we're doing discovery, the different ones by service accounts, how many are stale, how many errors we got. Look at that, zero errors, where do you ever see that? Um, incoming events, and then if I wanted to say, hey, I just want to look at Azure and see the different CIs and regions and service accounts, and for those I only want to see the Southeast one and what's over there. So I only got VMs over in the Southeast, Azure, AP Southeast, and I can see the different service accounts there. If I click on this virtual machine, I'll be able to see the 24 virtual machines that are sitting up there um, in the cloud for this particular one. So I can drill down, I can get to those, go to the next page, I can click on one of these, explore the different components, characteristics, attributes of this particular configuration item, see if it has any alerts on it if I'm doing alert management within the cloud operations workspace. And that's pretty much it. I've been saying all along I was going to show you what the settings is. I think I've got it figured out now. It just enables that cloud provider to actually turn on. And my demo environment, as you can see there, they're all highlighted. And when I came in here looking at it, I just started clicking on things. I was like, well, that doesn't do anything. And I clicked on it again. I'm like, well, that doesn't do anything. So I think there's no settings or anything here. You still got to do the implementation or configuration to set these up. But we can turn on and off the cloud providers, which I think is just making them available in the selections in those previous screens that we were just on further in the workspace. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in a nice experience around cloud discovery and service now. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.